Greetings, greetings. We are at the Camera Club. It is the 20th of February. It's and it's Club. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm editing that out. That's a dollar. Hey, <laughs> greetings. Welcome to the Photography Club. Yeah. It's the 20th. Look yeah. at the crowd we have here today. We've also got a nice crew up on Zoom, which is great to see as well. So thank you, everybody, for showing up. Uh, we have all kinds of videos to share today. And uh, let me see, who was I going to start with today? Oh, you know what, Larry, you, if we start with you, is that all right? Sure, that's fine. All right, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about this video, and then we'll see what you got. Okay, I uh, made this video last fall, and then my wife died, and the uh, narration in it was a bit of a tribute to her, so I had some tribute stuff to the end of it. Okay. There's some technical stuff in it I'll talk about afterwards. Okay. It might be of, of interest to 10% of the people that are here. Okay. Because it's got mathematics. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, cool. All right. Well, let's take a look and let's see what Larry's got for us. As I sat in our dining area in Green Valley, my eye was attracted to the plaque on the wall of a castle. It looked a lot like Mad King Ludwig's Neuschwanstein Castle in Bavaria. That castle was the inspiration for Disney's castle. In this castle on the wall, the high, steep spires point to heaven. Then there are the lower spires and living areas. The entrance is not foreboding, but it is imposing. And then, under the castle, not immediately obvious, there is this dragon. I had looked at this castle many times, but I saw the dragon only after my wife pointed it out to me. I wonder how many other dragons I would have overlooked without her assistance. What do we think? I think the uh, zooming in on the features of the castle was unbelievably sharp and good and, and meaningful, too. Nice. I think the whole overall concept, the, the scripted idea that he would take this castle and drag it and then drop it into the memorial sequence it's just an incredibly good idea in terms of writing a script. Sure. Mary Kudos said it more. Yeah. Well done. Sherry Lee, I think you read something or no? <laughs> no? Oh, I I was just so moved. It was just really, really, really beautiful. Thank you. Um, what was the mathematics thing that Larry okay. was talking about? <laughs> okay, the, if you think of... Um, 
the zooming into parts of it, think of it as a camera being moved sure. on the screen. The screen I use is 1920 by 1080. I don't have a 4K. So that means you've got a, um, a, a grid right. on it. So the center of the screen is 960 by 540. 960 on the middle, 540 on the middle vertically. So every point on the screen is measured that way. And I wanted to get the movement the same for all of the oh, distances okay. that the camera moved. Yeah. And if you do it by cut and fit, it's pretty slow and pretty right. painful. Sure. So I wrote a, a, a spreadsheet where I could <laughs> put in the the, uh, the points, the yeah. coordinates, and you know, use some math to uh, measure the, the distances in time. And when I got it, I still wasn't happy with it. So I could go back in and I could jiggle on this spreadsheet and say, I want it to all run at so many pixels per minute or wow. so many pixels sure. per second. So you, know, you don't have to guess, you can use just what you want. So it takes a little math, but it's not not that challenging. Well, for somebody that knows math, it's not challenging. <laughs> <laughs> for some of us, it might be very challenging. That's why I said, why I said tell the same. <laughs> anyway, yeah. That's a great way to think about it. I, you know, I think that's one of the beauties of all of this is we come with different ideas of how we do things. And here's something you brought a very analytical approach to it and said, okay, here's what I want to do. Now, how do I do that? And it's like, okay, let's figure out these grid points of where this is at. Let's do calculations. And then we'll figure out how much time has to go between each of these points. So uh, well done. And, and further to what to Gene said, um, I made this uh, well before my wife died. Yeah. So this was just something that caught my eye. So there's all sorts of things that can catch your eye and, yep. and say, I could do something with that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. You had shared... I think it was the last fall you shared that with me. Yeah, yeah. And and we were going to hold off on it. So anyway, uh, nice job, well done. Uh, anybody have anything else on that they want to add? The music was good, as always, Larry. Your audio was good. <laughs> yeah, his narration is is really good. He's I I marvel at some of our group. They have great voices. They may not think they have great voices. But Larry's one of them that I hear his voice, and it's just very calming and soothe, soothing. And I just anything you've done, I always love. So good it's job. So soothing, it used to put my wife <laughs> <laughs> well, better than Nightwell, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. As a compliment to Larry, I think I think he succeeded in doing what you encouraged us is to leave the viewer wanting more. Yes, yeah. I would agree with that too. Yeah, it's nice because it, it's just enough without going 20 minutes. It, perfect. And you're like, great. At the end, beautiful, beautiful tribute. So well done. All right. Uh, let me see. What else have I got here? I've got, uh, oh, what was the, what was this? hang on, hang on. Oh, this is, this is Joe's piece. Joe, why don't you tell us about this uh, piece that you did? And uh, we'll share that with everybody. Okay, I had, I had seen that there were going to be two performances in Desert Meadows. It was a fundraiser for the food bank. Um, I don't know that I saw any of you all here <laughs> or there, <laughs> but um, uh, I went to the first one and it was about the time that that you were announcing this, this uh, I movie class. And I thought, yeah, I'll go over there and I'll shoot something and then maybe that'll work. Well, the first the first week was the it's the same group. Uh, they're from Minnesota, maybe you know them. They're the first the first one they called them the first week it was the Hootenanny Brothers. <laughs> uh six six guys, I think, that are all related. They, they, they married everybody else's sister. I don't know. It's oh just it's, it's, it's <laughs> is this brother. <laughs> But anyhow, they all they all they all they all got along just it's fine. Oh, there's no brother and sister. <laughs> and they were all they seemed to all be in attendance. <laughs> but um so so that first week what I had, I came back and I thought, Joe, you know, you've got a bunch of crap here. And so yeah. you, you you shot parts and you shot pieces and you were shooting B-roll, but you you didn't have the main 
So luckily, they were performing the next week, uh, a week later, and it was mm. a nice afternoon. Okay, so, um, the, and that week they called themselves the Elderly Brothers. <laughs> and, and the weather was so much better. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I asked permission uh, before they started, didn't know any of them. And and uh, I just explained that I was shooting this for, yeah. for an assignment, yeah. which is an excuse we can all use. Right. When, we to, when we want to get in somebody's, when we to get in somebody's face or somebody's life, we can just say, I'm on assignment for a class project. <laughs> and and uh, they, they, they seemed to think that was okay. But they, and then guy came back later and he said, uh, but the caveat is that we'd like to see what you, what you come up with. Sure. And so, that was that was the thing. So all I did was put the tripod on a, I mean, put the, no, put the, the phone, the iPhone on the tripod. Sure. And let it go for a song. And uh, then, she, you know, then went around after the song, then went around and started shooting the B-roll, as okay. we would call it. Nice. And this is your first attempt at iMovie, right? Uh, pretty much. Yeah. You've yeah. done a little plane, but this is the first in time. Modern time. In modern, modern times. Time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anything I knew from 10 years ago from my wife, oh. would be forgot. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what you've put together here. I brought this along. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely here to record uh, comments. Hey, uh, I mean, uh, construction. Construction. well, any kind. <laughs> well, that was horrible. Is that what you were thinking? I I that. No. Go ahead, Monica. What I would, um, I really liked it. It, it was uh, 
The only thing that I would change is instead of the hard changes, I would do the soft changes yep. that I would fade yeah. in and fade out. Yep. Um, because it was that first one was like jolting, and then and then you got used to the fact that okay, the next one's going to come up, and it's different. And but that's other than that. Once you do that, I like. It. Well, it's, it's a bit the hardest style of video to a music video. Yeah. It's the most difficult them all. Sure. And uh, I really believe that there's none of us hit much of problems. And you sort of solved it was how you keep the soundtrack and the video sync when you're throwing still in between. Sure. You know, that's tough technically. Well, well, wait a well here well here's a, a couple of tech here's a technical thing because this is done in iMovie. In iMovie you can only do two levels of video. Hmm. So the issue is, and we've talked about this before, John and I have talked about this. When you're doing, he's got the the constant video of the guys playing, right. that's one level, and then the pictures above is the B-roll. You can't put any sort of dissolves or transitions on that B-roll in iMovie, on that oh. second level. Oh. So that's kind of, that's nothing that he couldn't fix. You, now, can't, you can't even do fade in though. You can't do fade in and fade out on that B-roll level. But here would be my suggestion. I would go in and say, okay, I know I've got all these great pictures and figure out a period of time that, okay, I'd like the band to be on a little bit at the beginning, let's say for 10 seconds. Now I want to come into some of these photos and I want that to be for, let's say, 20 seconds. And then maybe come back to the band for 10 seconds and then some more pictures. I would go into iMovie and create a new movie just of the B-roll. So take your still photos. Basically what you would do is say, okay, I want these pictures to be up for X amount of time. I can show you. I see quizzical. It's like, what? 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 <laughs> well, so, no, 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 no. You're gonna, so what you would end up doing, I'm gonna get too in the weeds on this, but <laughs> basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, okay, I want 20 seconds of pictures, my still photos, I'm going to put my transitions, my fade-ins, my dissolves. I'm going to output that as a separate movie. So it's just pictures. There's no sound. Then I'm going to do that for the entire video. So I might have three or four sections of pictures. Then I'm going to come back to my first level where it's just the video of the band playing. I'm going to lay that on top. That's my second level. You'll have fade-ins, fade-outs and transitions and it'll just give it that smoothness a module system where you're making in a sense it's, yeah. it's it's more work unfortunately it's the limitations of iMovie you can't do what we would do in Final Cut or DaVinci uh it's just the limitation but that would be a workaround thank you and, and I just um I did try <laughs> and I learned this because I tried the dissolves I was induced from class and of course it didn't work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so so does anybody want to guess how many how many still photos or if we could talk about B-roll, does anyone want to guess how many images there were other than the 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 music? Eight. Eight? That you used in yeah. that video? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's gotta be at least 20 or 25. Yeah. 20 is the number. Okay. Wow. It just it's just it's kind of interesting. So you you were jolted 20 times if you didn't know it. Right. <laughs> and and I was I was I was uh I emailed because one of the guys had a business card and I emailed him saying, um, I would I would like your permission for me to post this. Right. And uh, I said, I asked permission to shoot it. Now I'm asking permission to, sh to post it. And of course he doesn't know what I have. Right. Uh, but I guess I convinced him that it would, there was nothing that would be embarrassing. And so it was posted and uh, did they, I think they raised uh, $900 wow. I had heard. And I estimated there were about 200 people there, and um, so then one of the one of the guys messaged last night and said uh, wanted to thank wanted to thank me, and he said he was particularly glad that we had the guy singing. Mm -hmm. He had uh, had a brutal battle with cancer. Oh wow! This was his first time hmm. first time back at it. Nice. And, uh, I just found it rather touching. Yeah, that's good. Well, here's the other thing you could do too, just as an idea for the next time. You could post that on YouTube as an unlisted video, meaning that only people that with the link. So you could say, hey, Bob, 
Here's the video I put together. Only you can see it. Is this okay with you if I make this public? Mm -hmm. And then you can change the uh, viewing setting to public. Some and then anybody can see it. Some of you may know. Any of you know that any of these guys? Yeah, I do. Okay, because um, because uh, I've seen since then. I've seen that one of them is one of the one of the guys playing in John uh, or Laughlin or whatever is is uh, part of the you've got talent thing, whatever it is. Oh, okay. Uh, and then the other one is is there's some whatever without getting too far off track. Sure. Um, but. But um, I I know that they had a list for for fans so that they can email when sure. they're going to be performing. Sure. And so um, I'm not surprised. I think they must have sent that out because there were over 200 hits. Nice. Or views. I mean, cool. Good. Very nice. Oh yeah, they must have. Um, well, that's good. Well, way to go. Grace, did you have something? Yeah. Oh well, I had had two two things. One. Joe, it's good to see you. And um, uh, my one thought was one thing you could do is extract the audio. Then on your video line, you can dissolve <clears throat> into the cutaways and put the music back. I mean, the video clip of the players back in where you wanted them because you've got the audio on a, on a different track. Um, that was just a, a thought. But... Joe, I want I, since I haven't seen you for a while, I wanted to just comment that Joe would come to my um, iPhone photography classes. And um, the last one I was at, I taught uh, right before COVID hit, I said, Joe, would you take a picture of me standing up here teaching my class? Because my husband was clear in the back of the room. And what he did, because he's a photojournalist, he took it as an assignment. And I didn't know he had left the room. I didn't know he was wandering around. But the set of photos that he gave me of the class and the people working and, and everything was just phenomenal. And I just, I use that all the time. And I thank you for it. Thank you. There you thank go. You, Grace. Mr. Mr. Grace. Yeah. 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 That's there you go. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll work on some of that. And I, Grayson's idea would be a way to do it as well. It might yeah. be a little more technical, but certainly- uh, You can split the soundtrack out of the original video and then we can't share. Apparently. Yes. Yes. Extract, yeah, you can take it out. I can separate yeah. it in the other manager. Yeah. yeah. All right, does anybody else have anything? Two thoughts on, yeah. the, on the B roll. The first one, you gotta have a good friend. Who will shoot video for you for the B-roll because video would fit in better than the stills. Can, can you explain that, Larry? Well, meaning but second camera. You got two video cameras. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> sure, video. Okay, I mean that's obvious, but that you, yeah, you got to have somebody who'll put up with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other thing is when you're using the stills, instead of having zooms all the time, use movement. You know, blow up the film, the the photo. So you can put just a little bit of movement in it. Doesn't have to be a lot. You're talking or, about horizontally. Well, can or, or vertically. I don't want. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, whatever works. Mm -hmm. But well, the not, other not all they were all, zoomed. They were all yeah, zoomed. Yeah. You know what? That's a, that's a good point because because I was yeah I was just glad anything was working. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. It was <laughs> Your camera to shoot on with live photo on, oh, but then put live photo into a video, it's a little tricky, oh, but it can be done and it will have that little movement. Well, we'll, we'll, work, on, we'll work on some of that. Or, move, move up to the, the big boy editors, you know, like premier <laughs> elements. <laughs> well, search I immediately understood the, the value of a, of a two camera or three camera shoot. Sure, what 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 you what you may not have noticed was, and it was it was awkward that the 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 presentation of the five guys okay the, there was a sixth person who played sax mm. he was not in that sure so the guy who sang that song sat down and i didn't know any of these guys hmm. so i didn't realize that i had shot oh god it's just too far off yeah <laughs> but, but it's the idea that if if you could be shooting uh well, two cameras, right? Minimum. Uh, then there would be some order. Sure. 
Well, it's like, you know, it's, you go and you do it the first time. Like you said, you shot it the first time and then you realized, okay, I need to do more. And you go back a second time. Well, the first time you put a video together, usually it never comes together as good as you'd like. And then the second time, third time, fourth time, as you progress and you keep going, you get better and better at these things. So just it's just practice. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> experience. yeah you'll get there. You're a experiment. You're, uh, for a first effort in X number of years, I think you did a great job. Thank you. So we'll yeah. work on we'll work on some of those things. I'm talking about doing another iMovie class, hopefully in a couple of weeks, and maybe we'll get a little bit more advanced. I'll have to learn more though too. <laughs> Seriously, I don't. It's Grace knows way more about it. John knows way more about it than I do. So all right. Well, thank you for that, uh, Sherry Lee. Why don't you tell us about your video and share your video, please? You're muted. Oh. You mean thank you. <laughs> Not this movie, no noise. I could hear myself. Um, <laughs> this is the uh, Cappadocia portion of the Southeast Asia trip. Um, so it's the the third of the five little videos. Great. Uh, yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. It was certainly fun to create it. And let's share screen. Deep oh, just buy them already. Oh, Makase. Lady freaking Gaga? You know who loves you? MGM, baby. Susie Day, welcome to the Kingdom of Cambodia. We flew into Phnom Penh and met our wonderful local guide, Alex. Many times we just say the word Susie Day. It's been high. En route to our hotel, we stopped at Champi Academy of Arts, created to improve the lives of disadvantaged children and orphans. With the aim of providing with traditional dance, music, drawing, and painting. Our school mission is to preserve, protect, and promote Cambodian culture to plan for the next generation. Almond Hotel, we were on the fifth floor with a lovely view and off to see the city, first on foot. Of course, I try most everything. Seafood, anyone? And now, by Rimwork. Turns out, we are here at the time of the ASEAN Summit. President Biden arrived the day we left for Sin Reap. It was also the time of the water festival, resulting in quite a busy place. Our day culminated with a delicious meal, Ogun. With OET, we get the opportunity to also learn of difficult times. Alex took us to the killing fields, expressing his own pain of Cambodia's bloody past under Popo and the Khmer Rouge. This execution site is one of many. This prison held prisoners until being led to the killing fields. We had the honor of talking with two remaining survivors. 
I got arrested when I was 48 years old. Yeah. And right now I'm 91 years old. It was a sober evening as we prepared for the next day's bus ride to Simrip. We say goodbye to Alex and greet our next local guide, Peter. Ooh, what is Tarantula Village? We got to meet a tarantula farmer. Tarantulas she already caught. And play with them. Then tromp in the jungle to see how she finds them. Then she proceeds to prepare and cook them. It's like a soft tail crab. Oh, yeah. For us to sample. Not bad. While on the road, we happen across a rice pounding, which we were told only happens at this time of year in this particular town. So we stopped to check it out. Another form of local transportation, water buffalo carts. True confessions, they were most uncomfortable. Approximately 300 people live in this village of floating houses, markets, temples, and schools. They move the village regularly according to water levels. It was about 12 feet deep at the time of our visit. We were invited to the home of the village midwife, who is known as Big Mom and Hero Lady. She has 10 children and more than 23 grandchildren of her own. <laughs> Uh, every time when the husband of heaven of the lady came, uh, this is a tool that I brought along with me. Following this lovely visit, we returned to the bus for a snack. I really liked it. The circus was an optional activity which we found absolutely delightful, much more than a circus. It began with eight young Cambodians who'd been in a refugee camp on the Thai border who decided to help rebuild their country through preserving the arts, providing free food, education, training, and jobs. This circus gives young Cambodians something to hold on to from their past. It gives them an identity, confidence, and the voice to tell their own stories to the world.
This thousand-year-old bridge is the longest of its kind in the world. It is also known as the Dragon Bridge. Angkor Thom is the last and most enduring capital city of the Khmer Empire. This gate leads to the center of the city, the Bayan Temple. Yayagiri means Victory Mountain and was the last temple built in Angkor. The gigantic faces led many scholars to believe they are representations of then King Jayavarman VII and linked to Buddhism. Locals argue that the faces, arranged in four directions, resemble Brahma. The myriads of base relief carvings depict daily life. Angkor Wat is the most famous masterpiece of Khmer architecture. It is the largest religious monument in the world. Originally constructed as a Hindu temple dedicated to the god Vishnu for the Khmer Empire, then gradually transformed into a Buddhist temple, now described as Hindu Buddhist. Monkeys are local residents and plentiful. We celebrated a lovely evening with a toast at sunset. The Prom Temple was my favorite. After the fall of the Khmer Empire, the Temple of Tapram was abandoned and neglected for centuries. It was decided that Tapram would be left largely as it had been found. However, much work has been done to stabilize the ruins, to permit access, and to maintain this condition of apparent neglect. We did fit in a massage before heading to Vietnam. Oh, cool. At Aspen Dental, new patients without insurance get a free complete exam and x-rays and 20% off treatment plans. What do we think? They're going on vacation. Okay. <laughs> what are them dinosaur uplands? They must—they must have seen the dinosaurs, right? Exactly. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, that was so cool. I wish you'd left that on the screen a lot longer. <laughs> Sherry, I just beautiful. want to say thank you for the walk down memory lane. I—I <laughs> I will watch that again. I will watch your whole series because I did <laughs> not do anything when we took the. I, took pictures but I didn't do anything with them. Nice.
Yay. Yes. What else do we think? A nice mix of um, history added in there. So it was, it was educational for sure for, for me. I skipped Angkor Wat when I went to Thailand. Could have gone to Cambodia and didn't. Wish I had now. Yes, <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's the angle I'm but some of the um, descriptions up there were really hard to read because yeah. they were a similar color to the background. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a thought uh, and a thought for that, which isn't a bad idea, is is maybe putting some sort of a a light bar across the bottom that would be somewhere tr translucent, so at least the text would pop. Or the other thing is to possibly outline the text. If you've got lighter text, like a whiter text, outline it in black so it pops a little bit more or add a drop shadow or something. Mm -hmm. um, I think sometimes when you've got a busy background and you've got text and it's fighting with the text, it does make it hard to read. Yeah. 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 Okay. I also the sewers. A couple of a couple of things that you showed that could have been left on just a little longer so we could finish reading it. Um yeah. so just maybe um maybe on the shots where there's descriptions or or um text that you just leave it on for maybe a second longer, second okay. or two longer. Great. Thanks. Sherry, I know all these things take so much time and you look at them so long while you're producing them, but before you save them, you should have somebody who hasn't seen you working on it for hours, look at it. Because sure. there's like a, like you, you had Indian Jones instead of Indiana Jones. Oh, I mean, and it, it doesn't really make much difference depending on your audience. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to have it say on YouTube for years, you probably yeah. want to fix those things. And you just don't see them when you've been working on it for hours. Right. I would agree. Thanks. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I would get that thumping noise in video from me hitting my head against the wall. Does anybody else have anything on that that they'd like to add? So which did you prefer, the snakes or the tarantula? <laughs> I, I like the snake better than the tarantula. <laughs> um, the tarantula was very, very chewy. It was a really weird texture. <laughs> I, will give, I will give you this. You are adventuresome. There is no fear in you in terms of trying some of these foods. So yeah. I'm I'm saying foods in a very yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah good job as always you do a nice job I think there's just a few little technical things and yeah appreciate like, the, that. like Holly was saying just the spelling and that's something that I didn't even I'm looking at the pictures and not even paying attention yeah so anyway good job all right um, Diane why don't you share your little goodie. Uh, she was in our iMovie class this past week. Tell us about your video. Okay, this is my trip to India in 2016. Uh, I went to Varanasi and Rishikesh, and these are mostly people on the street there. Some of them were taken from a long distance with a handheld film photo lens. Others were more close up, and those were those were the ones where they some of them posed for the camera. It was really nice. Cool. All right, let's see what we got here. Hang on a second.
Diane, you did something that I could never do, and that is take a group of still pictures without any verbiage and make them tell a story. Black and white, too, yeah. as well as the, it's a very colorful place, but the stark, yeah, this uh, the black and white really makes it very impactful in there, too. Very nice. Um, good transitions, yeah. really well done transitions. Yeah, worked hard on those. <laughs> well, you know, that we she had sent me this the other day, and there was a she'd used the edge mask that I shared in our. I would be able to ask to give it that vignetted look. And there was a little technical issue with that. And she fixed it and cleaned it up. And I told her for our first video. Oh my yeah. God. Oh my God. You knocked it out of the park. It almost, in a sense, reminds me of Rick's first video. Here he was just trying iMovie. And it's like, damn, impressive. Great pace to the pictures. They were, there was a nice flow to those photos, which was great, I thought. And then the music was just absolutely yeah. perfect. Yeah. It it gave you that feel, like Daryl said. Now, that. what was the music then? That was good. Um, and you found it when six six a day. Nice. Nice. I mean, I am waiting for your next one with David. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Very I, mean, nice. I think it just the the beauty of that it shows. You got some great photos, and then you pop it together. You add that movie <laughs> in the editor. You find some nice music. You add some dissolves. And the thing that was nice too is that you had some. Normally, I'm not a fan of any of the weird transitions, but there was one where you had a person, and it, it kind of like the door opening, like there's another right. person. And I was like, just and it wasn't and overused. Yeah, the page turner opening a new book. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and I would agree too. That's a great point. It was not overused. It's not like you did it all the time. Okay, so some really good ones, but they weren't overused. There were two or three. Like the very first, you know, you opened the page, right? And then there were several. Most of them were just dissolved, so that worked. But there were a few trickier ones that just worked pace wise perfectly. You bet. Yeah. So, what was the editing program? I that movie. The wow. Burns gave. They have a good sense of motion. Mm -hmm. it, could have been more directed to highlight what you wanted the viewer to focus on. Yeah. The, f the faces were so good mm -hmm. that yeah. you were waiting for the next picture to come up. Yeah. It really made it interesting. Oh, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah. I definitely have an eye. The last time I saw photos that good for National Geographic. Oh, come on. Uh, I <laughs> Those were just really. You're going to have to scratch your head like this. When you make uh, <laughs> well, and the, and the other thing I would say, too, which I, I, I proposed of many times, she left us wanting more. Like yeah. Monica said, I yeah. can't wait to see the next one. Yeah. Yes. The length of that was perfect. And it's like, damn, what are you going to do next? Yes. Yes. So well done. Uh, anybody else on Zoom have anything they want to add to that? That was it was very well done, and I've been there. My husband specialized in photographing pieces, uh, people, faces, and so forth. Reminded me of all of his work. Uh, we just don't have it on video. Yeah, sounds like you have to get busy, Grace. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, good job. Well done. Well done. All right. Um, uh, Catherine, why don't you tell us about your video? Okay. Um, this is going to be a one of a series, I think, because uh, I wanted to keep it a little shorter. And this is, I was in December, I was in Cuba. So uh, this one here is just about to get up. Okay. Hang on a second here.
What do we think about that? Wow. I like the music. Yeah. I like the first song. It's only about that first one or another. I, I love I, your I, transitions. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no, I like that the first song. I thought that very much fit with the mood of oh, okay. Cuba and everything, more so than the other ones. Those to me were like more European yeah. cafe type. Yeah. It's all in and out of the phone, though, with what was going on and what your actual feet in the background. That's, that's a bit of struggle, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> but I'm learning and yeah. I'd say for the most part, uh, the first third was like unbelievably good yes. in terms of the music, the photos, you had the movement, which was great. The one thing that I would think about is the the scenes were disjointed in the sense that we went from stills to live to stills to live and the music you're going from live music to the recorded music yeah what about if you would say okay like you did the first third beautiful maybe come in the middle with all these live scenes where it's just the the street scenes and all the actual stuff and then the last third potentially would be the you could go back to the music again, not necessarily the first song, but one of the songs with some of the stills. Because I just, that that bouncing in and out with the recorded music and the live music, it just, it, yeah, it just seemed a little disjointed. You know, I was almost thinking, along those lines, I was almost thinking that if you went with the live music for your stills, rather than going back to the uh, the other track, it would have flown a little bit better because it was all tied to that live yeah. performance that you went to. So, so my thought would be use the live music. What you should be doing live? Oh, just repeat that. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, whether you're doing the live shot or the, or the still shot. Okay. Yeah. So keep the live music going. Like, Pretty much, yeah. Like oh, okay. 
Yeah. What was the editing program? Photopia. Pardon? Photopia. Yeah. What was that again? Photopia. Thank you. Another thing that I noticed, you had a lot of landscape shots, still shots, uh -huh. that were cropped, not 16 by 9. Yeah. But could have been without disturbing the composition of the shot. Uh -huh. So if, before you put your stills into a movie, if that's what you're going to do with them, if you crop them at aspect ratio, 16 to 9, 16 to 9, it helps it flow better. Oh, okay. Well, the other thing that I thought you did you do well, which I really love, is that you've got the inner picture, so to speak, uh -huh. and then you've got the image behind. It's the same image, but it's blown up. And it gives a really nice feel. And so for some of these photos, you had them just be a straight vertical and there's black screen or whatever. And I'd love to see you continue that throughout the, the video. It's just, it's such a neat, nice effect. Yeah. I'm and trying to make it sort of that. Over. I don't think it is. Okay. Is that it is, Kevin? Is that feature unique to Photo You could no. You could do it. I could. You could do it in. I could do it in Final Cut. Uh, Can't do it in iMovie. You you would have to. I there's a million steps. I think you have to go through to get some of these things to happen in iMovie. So <laughs> it it just one of those things where. There's limitations to these some of these programs. Some of them have it. Is it it's a built-in thing that you just say, okay, this is my image, yeah. and then I want it. Yeah. It automatically does the effect. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of thing. Thing. I have no idea. There's, there's probably a name in the program. But anyway, it's I mean it, I think beautiful effort in terms of what you're doing and just a little tweakage mm -hmm. and you've got something that's just money so mm -hmm. yeah money. I'm just going to say at the very end where you go to your your um I would leave it on the ocean mm -hmm. and 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 instead of fading the black put it over the ocean okay and just um, because that would have been a beautiful ending and then you faded to black and and the black and white and the credits and it's like no, yeah, I'm wondering about that. Yeah. That's, good. Yeah. That's good. Anybody else have anything on that that they'd like to share? Okay. Um, we we are a little over time, but we still have some things to share. Do we want to go ahead and continue? We happy if we continue? Uh, okay. Gene, why don't you tell us a little bit about okay. your, your videos? Really, really short. Yeah, I'm all okay, don't get three minutes. I was on a great experiment this week. One of my uh, one of my little teenage friends said, "I have to write a term paper on uh, some scientific topic, and I'm in trouble." And I said, "We go to this chat GPT," and so we went there and they wrote a beautiful high school term paper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if that teacher figured it out, I'll be surprised. But while I was at it, I ran across all this stuff for um, doing AI videos. And so I thought I'd experiment with them a little bit. And so I have three or four short ones. Three of them are using AI characters. And one of them, the AI actually did the video itself. Okay. So we'll see what you get. I'm sorry. All right. I'm, I'm, I have a one, two, three, the red and blue. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Hi. I'm Alana. I want to welcome you to the Green Valley Photography's Multimedia Special Interest Group. I hope you learned something new today. In case you haven't figured it out, I'm not real, I was generated by an artificial intelligence, called DID. Tom, you have to admit that I'm better than that $10 a month AI chick you hired. Oh, Kevin, that question you asked me last night, the answer is no. Kevin, you gotta finish. Hang on, hang on. We gotta play this. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Wow, what a zinger. Here it comes. There's another one in your team, but you got it. Okay, hang on. Here we go. I'm not real. I was generated by. I mean, a lot of the crew doesn't know what oh, we're laughing. Yeah, um, right, so. right. Okay, the quick, well, the quick uh, version, just I'll, and then I'll go back to this. The quick version is that Tom has a program that's a text Who is to Tom? speech. Who is Tom? Tom, yeah, Tom Parker, he's back there. Um, the and he's got a text to speech <laughs> program and it's $10. So he says it's the yeah. only time he's made. What's your line? 
three hundred dollars a month. There you go. Um, okay. Yes, yeah, so text your speech and uh, it's uh, for happy boys cost you money. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's let's go back to the middle of this and we'll play this section again. An artificial intelligence called DID. Tom, you have to admit that I'm better than that $10 a month AI chick you hired. Oh, Kevin, that question you asked me last night, the answer is no. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, my God. All right. Gee, man, man. All right, here we go. We got another one here. Hi, I'm Brandon. I want to welcome you to the Multimedia Special Interest Group meeting of the Green Valley Recreation Photography Club. Huh. I'm not real. I was generated by an AI video creation application called DID. I'd like to show everyone some of the AI possibilities in video production. Currently, I'm still in development, but can you imagine the possibilities in the future? Oh, Arlene, I like the dragons. <laughs> Just be careful, don't get burned. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, and this one is really cool because the, if you get the paid version, you can put in an Excel spreadsheet with a group of people's names in it, and it will repeat the video with a personal yeah. touch in each one. So they show an example about paying your dues, it says, mm -hmm. oh, Mabel, um, your dues are, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then it repeats the video for the next person. Okay. Next hmm. So, you know, it's got some real, what a real word. potential for some neat it's stuff. I'm thinking about doing an instructional video and letting one of these characters be the instructor. Sure. That that's, 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 that's my next move. Okay. Um, Here's another one. This is this is another one here. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah, Michael's here with the latest news from the Green Valley Photography Club. First, the Multimedia Special Interest Group meets every Monday morning at 10 a.m. You are invited to join. The club is also sponsoring a Windows and Doors tour in Tucson on February 23rd. See the club's website for details. If you want to improve your photographic composition, join Linda Gregory for a composition class at 1.30 p.m. on February 23rd. Well, that's all for now. See you again next week. I can okay. break that out for video edited and actually put clips in from some of the activities and make it look like a news show. Yeah. So, I mean, it would be perfectly doable. Wow. Uh, you know, and I just wanted to see what they do is you can do it with any picture. So you can upload a picture. Mm -hmm. there. It has to go through a training process. So what you do is you upload the picture and then you film yourself with a motion that you want. Okay. And then it trains that still picture hmm. and makes the AI image. And of course, they have a whole slew of pre trained ones, which is what I was using. The last one, I'll, I'll give it to you real yep. fast. I went to Canva and I used a, a template on my wife's birthday's coming up in May. And I wanted a 30 second spot to put on Facebook just to tell everybody it's sure. her birthday. And so she'd get a lot of hits back and ask me what the hell I put up there, you know, because that's what will happen. So I dropped it and I went into Canva and it's got a thing where you can make your own video or it makes a video for you. So I picked out a template, I dropped all the pictures and text, you know, and then I wait a few minutes and I get an email that says your video is ready for download. And I downloaded it. I didn't do anything. I didn't I just did it. Right. So that's what the last one is. Okay.
dump the information in, you know, in that sure. free slide spots. And then this thing puts the right music and everything in the background. I've just shown it to everybody because I think it's kind of scary the way the creative trends with video and artificial sure. trends are moving to, you know, there are some of them, they call them deep, deep fakes. Yep. Because they make them look so good, you think they're the real person. Sure. Yeah. So this was just fun. It was a fun experiment. I'm going to play around with that. Like I said, I'd like to make an instructional video with one of those characters being the instructor. It would be interesting from a standpoint of we're having fun with this because it's only a minute or so. Right. It would be interesting to see at 15 or 20 minutes of watching this artificial character if it's, in a way, it's a little creepy. I don't know if yeah. anybody got that feeling. It's yeah. like, or it's like a well, that was not as realistic, but I even I just think that it's I don't know, it, it'd be interesting to see. Yeah. You should try it, yeah, put one together, and then be interesting to see if we yeah. watch it. Now, you said that, that when you um, you can take a video of you talking just through this, it just and, and it strains the character. Okay, so. So you can actually make it more lifelike. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. that that the more time you and I haven't done it because it was too complicated. Hmm. Not least. Well, you got to be doing multiple times. Let's, uh, let's, okay. okay. So did you, how much did you have to fork out to get rid of that? Nothing. Okay. That was free. Yeah, and it was a fourteen. You get a fourteen day free trial with it when you open it up. So I was using up the days, <clears> and I just couldn't resist. You know, if you're going to show these, I would have answered them first. Oh, well, sure. How long did it take to do the red hair? About <laughs> five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. And all you do is the picture comes up on the left hand side of the screen, a text box comes up on the right. You type in whatever you want, and you can sample it. There's some little ways, like when you do a period, it takes a pause. There's a place where you can put in a five second sure. time if you want. Things. And things like that. And then once you have the script done, you just put generate and it does it for you. And the cost after 14 days? I think it's five bucks a month. Oh, well, so still cheaper than my gal. And the redhead speech right there. Oh, there you go. I think you've just taken newscasters as a career and said, huh, one month's on the way out. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised that I like if we don't. Yeah, give it five more years. I mean, you know how fast the technology moves. It's, it's, it's going to be scary. So they already did away with helicopter pods because not be using drones. That's right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know the rumors about um, Google has an artificial intelligence in California that they have literally unplugged and locked up. I don't know how intelligent it was, but it scared the crap out of them. <laughs> they really. <laughs> I don't know what the story is true, but it's a great urban legend. Yeah. All right, Holly. Why don't you tell us about what you've got? Okay, so and there's three little videos all together. They're less than five minutes. So okay. Three little videos. And I must have been thinking like Gene, which is very scary. Uh oh. But, uh, <laughs> I wanted to see what could be done automatically. And I found on my iPhone, there's a, a um, under iMovie on the phone, there's Magic Through Movie, which is pretty automatic. It's a no-brainer, as he said. So this is the first Magic Movie. Take off with Magic Movie. iMovie can select photos of a topic like balloons. Then you can make an album of the selection and edit the album. In iMovie, on your phone, select Magic Movie and choose the album. Once the movie is made, you can select voiceover and add voice recordings, or you can edit and delete certain photos. It's very time saving. It's, you know, there's a lot you can't do, obviously, but it, it can kind of show you like, what you might want to do if you do a real- Sure, I wiki. Yeah. Which one do you want so to see next? To share one next. Okay. And you can see errors in this, that if this were a, a movie that you were going to use for something, you wouldn't want to, um, you, you've got the other one again. Hang on, I, yeah, I hit it. Yeah. This is an iPhone magic movie.
Okay. And, and again, you're depending on the intelligence of the computer, which as you see, hopefully you'll see you're more intelligent than the computer. But the golden hour one, um, okay. the, the computer came up with that. It sent memories as well. I, so I didn't make an album. It sort of said, hey, Holly, here's a memories for you. Okay. A golden hour. And since it's kind of attuned to its own intelligence, it does a much better job. Okay. This magic movie was started with a memory, photos pre-selected by the computer in my phone. Of course, if you use iMovie and then Final Cut Pro, you have many or many, many more choices in producing your movie. Okay. All right. Wow. Um, what do we think of that? To me, this is just a quick, it's neat that these programs can do some of these automated movies yeah. and stuff. How many of you have fun that are putting something together? Oh, when you're yeah, that's the process of out. mentally putting it together, yeah. Oh, yeah. doing your own creativity, so to speak. Like you asked me how Norway was coming. Right. And it's coming, or Iceland, I mean, it's yeah. coming, but right. it's going to be a, weeks yet. Well, sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, but, but I guess what I'm saying is it's neat that these programs can do all this, but I think of it as it's the whole process. If it's enjoyable, you get on the computer and you, you've done your Photoshop or whatever. Right. You go in and you start putting it together, finding the music, the perfect music, all those things. It's the whole process. And then you created something that you have made, not something that the computer made. Now I can see it if you're just wanting to have something put together real quick, and that's fine. I don't, does anybody have any thoughts on that? Exactly. It's, it's, yeah, really, it's really a, a visual version of AI. It's just saying, well, you know, yes. we'll we'll do your thinking for you and we'll do your creativity for you. And uh, yes. and like AI is saying, oh, you don't have to think anymore. Just give us the text and we'll put it out. We'll put something out there. You like better sure. than than what you would do. That's right. that's the scary thing. It's like where you cross that line and say, oh, I think I'll use the 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 program because I think it's better than I am. Right. That's what you got to watch out for. I think. Yeah. If you're gonna produce something. Sure, you've got a reason to produce it. You've got a message you're trying to put across, or something you're trying to describe. Yeah, but well, this so is I, I see it as irrelevant. First, but this is trying to do the same thing. It's saying, "Oh, wait, wait, wait we'll do this for you." Yeah, but it can't because it doesn't know what the idea is. I, I think it's like, there's no idea. Well, you're they're just, and I would agree. You want to tell a story. Yeah, yeah. You want you've got a story you want to tell. Yeah. it's your trip or whatever it is, and you've experienced it. You want to share it. You want to create it in a way to go. Um, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I find it interesting, but it's I find it's also something that I would never do. 
Because I'd rather have fun and get on the computer yeah. and create my but own. I don't think they're targeting people like us. Well, I know that. Yeah. I would agree. Yeah. It's, it's the Facebook and yes. TikTok yes. Yes. where, right. you know, they yeah. have a football game and all of a sudden they take pictures of their friends yeah. and it throws them together. And they'll look, oh, look at me yeah. here, you know. I would agree with that. that. I drove in the beginning. I got the idea from teenagers, and that's who it's designed for. Sure. Yeah. So, okay. so five years from now, we're not projecting that we drop off our laptops for our multimedia sig, go away, and come back while they collaborate. That could be. Okay. We've got one more video, and then we'll get out of here. Holly, what's your last video? I just wanted the. Uh, more complicated version of this that people used to use was a program that I think is still up there called Smilebox. Okay. And again, it's a how to put together a quick movie, but they were really neat to be able to email to, to people. Let's say you went to an event with your book club. Okay. And you had a, a quickie, quick movie you wanted to make. It was good for that. But the, so this one I made of a little trip to a garden. And it does have a lot more to it than Magic Movie. But when I tried to play it back today, it didn't play back at the right speed. So hmm. try it. And it, really why I brought it is to see if anyone here would know why. Okay. Well, let's take a look. Why it did.
Sure what As in, didn't play on your phone or didn't play on the computer, laptop? On my laptop. Were you watching it off of a flash drive, or were you, did you have it on the uh, on the computer? I had it on an external drive. Uh oh, that might have been the computer. issue. It's a it's a it's a two gig file, so it's possible that there was a little bit of lag being on the external. Okay. Uh, what I would do when you get home is put it on the desktop. And then see how it plays. Okay. Obviously, that's what we're doing in a play yeah. fun. Yeah, so fun. yeah, okay. But yeah. those are fun and they're easy, real easy to do, much easier than like iMovie. Sure. And uh, they have that effect where you've got the picture in the background automatically. Now, did you create this or did the computer create this? The program? The program pretty much created it. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, Bob. Be careful if your desktop is not up in the cloud. Oh. If it's up in the cloud, you're still going to get that same lag. The buffer oh, I you yeah. have down on your extra, your internal hard drive physically. Yeah. Because that takes instantaneous. So you shouldn't have any trouble. But if your desktop is located up in the iCloud, yeah. right, all bets are off. I bet sure. You're right. Thank you. You're okay. I'll check it out as soon as I get home. <laughs> Does anybody have anything else on that? Okay. Well, thank you everybody for coming today. We appreciate our Zoomers as well. Uh, we'll meet again next week here in the Photography Club <laughs> on the 27th. Thank you, everybody. Have a great week. We look forward to seeing what everybody's doing.